And welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, 2nd of May 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Go Markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news. There was a near neutral session, very choppy in the US overnight. The Dow and S&P 500 just still shy of bull market territory with the Nasdaq already there. Of course, we see earnings continue this week and also... JP Morgan uh, buys First Republic Bank to calm some of the banking anxiety, which popped up its head again. US futures are near neutral in Asia, and Asian markets are mixed in early trading. The SX is the only index down at this stage, trading around 0.15% lower in some caution relating to the RBA decision that's out later today. European market futures pointing to a higher open. Remember, of course, they were closed yesterday, so they're playing a little bit of catch up. And the VIX remains near 18-month lows. In the Forex world, the US dollar index recovered a little overnight, but soft in the Asian session today. Gold retested last week's lows at 1980. Copper did edge higher and may test $4 again over the next couple of days. And oil held support in a choppy session. If we look at cryptos, Bitcoin dropped to move back towards that 27,000 support. And US earnings continue, as we've said. Some of today's offerings include Pfizer, AMD, Starbucks, Ford and Marathon Petroleum to be the first of the bigger energy companies reporting. There's PMI due out of the UK and the Eurozone. The RBA rate decision, of course, this afternoon. European inflation numbers and US factory orders make for a fairly busy day. What's for the markets to digest? Let's have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye today. And we're going to start in the construction space. And we quite like the look of ABC uh, at this stage. Uh, you can see there it's pushing up against a resistance at around about 168 with a possible 188, the target in the medium term. That would represent a move up of around about 11%. But we think it may pause here around 6.5%. So that in itself is a reasonable profit target for the short term. For FX, we're looking at the Euro Yen on an hourly chart. That Yen weakness continues. Let's just bring it up a little closer. And you can see there we are testing this key level at around about 151. We'd like to see a breach of that before we get excited about it. You can see it's had a couple of goes at it already in the Asian session today after a pretty flat start. So it's worthwhile being patient to ensure the right setup is in place uh, but certainly want to keep an eye through the course of the day uh, but just remember we have got significant data coming out of the eurozone later with that inflation number so keep that in mind in terms of the timing of this trade trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now